uh, grab a coffee or something. Morning. Good How's it morning, going? guys. Yeah. Do you yeah. guys uh, want to step in? Yeah, sure. This is in Le Creuset, probably 10 years ago. My friend who did the, the picture, he did a photo contest and he won a, a cup and he gave it to me. So that's the story of this cup. So <laughs> I was also thinking about the skis I should take today. I don't know. Should I take like more park skis or what does the filmer think? All mountain. All mountain? All right. You can see two teeth there in the background, and that's Leza. But we can't see it either because of the trees. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll see it on the way there. Oh, let's go. Yeah, this is a fantastic place. How old is it? I think it's a hundred years old. It's still uh, holding up pretty well. I can show you around. Here we have some skiing. A shit ton of skis, actually. That's the pair. I think that's one of the first pairs of skis I had. Freestyle skis. Old K2 domains. Pretty stoked on these. I used them for a long time. Then I have some snowboards. I made myself some, some custom uh, fish tails here. <laughs> I cut the tail off and just, just for experiment experimentation purposes. Oh yeah. It's this young sample. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Rip in. Come, come. So that's my room. Um, computer I work on. All of my stuff, the drones. Uh, and the surfboards. I actually made all of these, but this one. Nobody actually knows you can surf on the lake. And there's like a secret spot where you can go if there is a storm. Everybody. But I won't tell you guys where it is, but if you want to search for it, you can. I, I never would have thought in a million years you could surf on the lake. Yeah, I, I mean, a couple of years back we would say also that it was not possible, but now I know and I just go uh, every storm and my sister is saying I'm, I'm crazy and yeah, I mean, it's nice to be crazy a little bit. I started to do drone stuff because of uh, Nico Vigné, shout out to Nico Vigné. And uh, he I'll, he got me into this because he he's kind of a, a, a big nerd in the ski game. So uh, he had some projects in, on his mind and he needed someone to fly the drones. And at the time where he needed someone, I had a knee injury, so I couldn't really ski. And thus I decided, yeah, why not hop on the train, you know? And then I made my first drone. I found out all the info on the YouTube and internet and it barely flew and it was really hard to fly like five or six years ago. It slowly actually got into a job for me. So in the summer I'm, I'm flying drones for video. I also spray crops. It's like 40 kilo drones, super big and they lift like 30 liters of water and they just put pesticide in it and we spray it on the crops. It's like 13 years old but it's still looking as young as in the first days. My man! Let's go! Oh, that's a dope setup. Yeah. So which skis are we gonna take? Yes, these. And maybe a helmet. Because we need to make them cool again, I think. I'm too hot. Sure, it will get cooler at the front left shortly. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thank you, Skoda. Uh, we are in uh, the Riviera area. It's uh, right uh, beside the Lake Geneva. And this is the small resort of Le Pleiad at 1,300 meters above sea level. And uh, that's where I I have been growing up. Right there, we have Les Dents du Midi. 
that's pretty much where we're heading today for a little ski sesh. We have France right across the lake there. And then on the left we have Valis. And over there on the right we can see Geneva. Maybe not right now, but A little Puccino, my friend. When I see a feature, I like to, to check out how I could ride it not in the right way, if you know what I mean. That makes ride sense. Wrong way? Yeah, let's, let's right. ride the wrong way. That's how it should be, right? Freestyle, let's go. I mean, you know, I got the inspiration from you, actually. The guy behind the camera. Back in the days in South Fe, I remember you were doing transfer from the side of the jump into the back of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember that. And I saw you doing this and I was like, wow, that's what I want to do. Lucky with the weather, huh? So, sick. so that's where uh, we are heading right now. And uh, if you don't know, that's the dopest backcountry spot you could uh, you could wish for in your whole life. Easy access, plenty of hits, good snow all year round. Boom! But don't get too excited because locals only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, that was so sketchy. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's have a little look around the park. Oh! <laughs> 
But I feel like we got a lot of stuff already. I mean, I don't even ski that much usually. It's more about chilling, you know? Yes. Get the banana. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> I like the tiny train. Yeah. Very I nice. Like I love the tiny train. How are you doing, bro? Had a nice day? Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, just gonna stay there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks, Hey, man. Mm -hmm. It was such a nice day. Thank Sweet you. Train. Thank you, Tom. And uh, yeah. we're gonna see it, you, see each other soon, huh? Yeah. yeah. It was a pleasure. Like this, like this, boom. <laughs>